Hello and welcome to Drum Synthesis 101. This is the first in a series of tutorials based around F Expansion Tremor in which I'm going to teach you how to synthesize various drum sounds. F Expansion Tremor is a synthetic drum machine, meaning it uses no samples. It uses just subtractive synthesis. So we're going to be making our sounds using oscillators, filters, LFOs, envelopes, etc. All things that you'd find on an average synthesizer. And you can follow along with these tutorials using just about any synthesizer. If you want to join in using Tremor, there's a link to the preset that I'm working on now in the YouTube description of this video. Even if you're just on the demo version, you should still be able to load it. So let's get stuck in. We'll take a look at the preset that we're going to be working on for this tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to look at synthesizing the kick drum out of this pattern. So let's take a listen to that. So we've got a nice meaty kick drum, quite a versatile kind of electronic, just a solid useful kick drum. And this is just one method of synthesizing kick drums. There are several others, some of which we'll look at in later tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is reset this channel, which is just going to give me the default sound for my kick drum. OK, nothing like a kick drum, that's good. Tremor uses something called a cloud oscillator which can actually produce eight different frequencies at the same time, but for this kick drum I only want one of those, so I'm going to take this roll parameter down. So we're just hearing a single frequency now. The next thing I'm going to do is tune the oscillator down to a low G. And tuning your kick drum to the key of your song is actually quite an important part of the synthesis. I know now that whatever else I do with modulation, my kick drum will always return to that G note. I'm going to change the shape of the oscillator to a triangle so we get a nice kind of subby sound. And you can hear already it's starting to sound like a kick drum. I'll just use the amp envelope to get the right decay and curve to the bass drum volume. OK, that's not bad. Now in order to add some punch to this, I'm going to use a very fast envelope to adjust the pitch of the oscillator. This fast envelope here, if I click on fast envelope in the modulation sources, and then drag this outer ring of the oscillator up a little bit, we can see that the fast envelope is going to alter the oscillator's pitch. And I'll just, as it's playing, I'll just play with the decay time. And the curve parameter. So that's not bad, but it's still got a bit too much tonal quality to it. I'm going to turn off the pre and post distortion to the filter so I get as clean a sound as possible. And then I'm going to bring the filter cutoff down. Now that's taken off a lot of the high end of our kick drum, so I'm going to use the same fast envelope to alter the filter cutoff. And I think what I'll do there actually, instead of using the same envelope that I'm using for the pitch, because I want a slightly longer envelope, is I'll use the slow envelope. This is envelope 2 right here, and we're not currently using this yet. So if I use that instead, for the filter, then I can have basically different envelope times on the filter and the pitch of the oscillator. There we go. So let's see how that sounds in the mix. That 
that's sounding pretty much like I want it to. So from here on in, I'm just going to tweak it in the context of the loop itself. And there we have it. Join me for more Drum Synthesis 101 soon.